Hi there, welcome to the antenna farm. Um, the uh, eagle-eyed amongst you might notice from this shot that I've got another antenna uh, in my garden now. The vertical on the left is my new 2m70 built by G1ZMI, very kind of him. Uh, the centre uh, pole is supporting my G5RV and then this antenna here I built yesterday and that is a coaxial uh, vertical dipole for four meters. Now, the reason I built this is because, um, although we do have some very good skeds uh, at the club on top band and 80 meters, some of us do like to have a little chat afterwards. And while some of us are on, you know, have a good setup on two meters, others have a good setup on UHF, basically there's always somebody that uh, isn't able to join in and it was decided that four meters would be the band where everybody could work everybody else and just for having a chat really and anyway except for me because uh, I didn't I'd never even used I've not, never even monitored four meters until about a week ago they started moaning at me to sort myself out so I started monitoring it and then um, I looked on the internet and I found this design so this antenna is effectively constructed entirely from RG58 coax um, and what you do is basically a dipole. So I've cut it for 70.5 megahertz. So what the top section is exactly 1.07 meters of RG58 with the shielding removed. And then you've got exactly the same length with the shielding uh, in place to create effectively the dipole. I've used self amalgamating tape right at the very top and halfway down where the shielding begins to basically waterproof it. And then as, a, as a, a, just a continuation of the RG58 is an ugly ballon or an RF choke, which you can see has been wound around a piece of two inch waste pipe, plastic waste pipe uh, taped up. I wound eight turns on it and then uh, and soldered an SO239 socket uh, to connect my uh, coax um, and then uh, everything's mounted on one of these Lakeside 1 700 poles from Decathlon and they cost 12 quid and to be honest if I'd had a pole spare this antenna wouldn't have cost me anything because all the parts I had lying around so um so it's basically a vertical dipole for four meters the actual antenna itself is 2.14 meters total length cut for 70.5 megahertz and uh so i put it all up yesterday and here we are monitoring 70.5 megahertz and if i i've got it on ritty if i just um let's just tune it there you go tuning away now or matching there you go matched and if I what have we got here 15% 15 watts hit the mic it almost no you can see the SWR here I've set it up it doesn't even register if I turn the power up a little bit it might register no. so with the radio uh, auto matching system it's matched itself got a perfect match. Um, I'm running it through the MFJ, um, but on bypass. So um, so there you go, It's uh, it works straight out of the box. Now, um, I tested it yesterday with one of the guys at Harwell and he copied me um, with at 40 watts, he copied me 60 over nine. Now I'm in Incham in West Oxfordshire and he is down sort of in Abingdon. Um, and that I just basically cranked the power down and even with five watts, he was copying me 60 over nine with a little bit of background hiss, but with 10 watts, 60 over nine, perfect copy, armchair copy basically. Um, so uh, a really, really good result. Um, and yeah, this is a piece of the pipe. So this is basically a piece of sort of standard two inch waste pipe um, that I wound eight turns. So. So basically, really simply, 1.07 meters of RG58 with no without the shielding, 1.07 meters with the shielding, waterproof the um, both ends, and then literally then from that point, just I wound eight turns onto this pipe, drilled a hole through it, and then soldered an SO239 socket on the end of it, which looks a bit like that, except this is one of my antenna switches, connected up the coax, I plugged it into the radio, 
hit the auto match on the 7300 and bang and it was and, and I was away so uh, it was uh, yeah just a really a really good result so um, I'm very pleased with it so anyway I thought I'd share that with you so if you want to get on four meters um, <coughs> this coaxial uh, dipole design um, is actually quite good and um, if you, you know any radio ham that's been a radio ham for a while is going to have these parts literally lying around uh, as I said, if it, if I'd already had the um, the pole, it would have been a zero cost antenna, and um, and my lucky neighbours now get to look at another vertical erection uh, from their back garden. They don't seem to mind though. I had a chat with them this morning, and they didn't even mention it. So uh, maybe they're losing count, which is a good idea, which is good for me. So uh, there you go. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Um, hope you're having a good week. It's only Tuesday, but. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it's still kind of locked down for me to a certain extent. At least I'm still working from home and uh, it's uh, still very nice to have this brilliant hobby to participate in. Hope you all enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.